How are we doing guys? I hope we're well. Back today with a brand new video and today we're going to be checking out these. The Peace and Love Collection from Night Golf. Okay guys, so the Peace and Love Collection from Night Golf was brought out in conjunction with the PGA Championship at Harding Park. And so the collection was made up of five pairs of shoes guys. So you had the Infinity Tours, you then had the uh, Roshi G's and the Air Max 97's which I've got here. And then we did have the Air Jordan 5 and then the Victory Tour as well. As you can see we've got real tie-dye vibes going on in this collection. And for for me that's very much representative of the area of San Francisco in general and sort of the connection that that area has with tie-dye, the hippie culture, 60s and 70s and the counter culture and for me this kind of does really represent the way in which golf fashion is going at this current moment in time and, and the sort of movement it's been on in the last year or so. So we've really, really seen every brand really break down the traditions of what you'd expect golf fashion to look like and really putting their own spin and really modernising things. So guys, a big, big collection, a very, very cool collection indeed. We're going to have a look at both of these pairs of shoes, show you the features and what I like about them, guys. So let's have a little look. Guys, so the first shoe we're going to check out is this Air Max 97 shoe here. So a couple of the features on the outside, we've got this really nice tie-dye in between all of the sort of signature stripes that you'd expect to see on an Air Max 97 shoe. So you've got the leather paneling all through the outside here and then it's kind of odd, the paneling's kind of rough where the tie-dye is. I'm hoping that that's going to kind of clean up okay but uh, it does feel like it should do. It certainly doesn't feel like knit at all. But, um, but yeah, gonna be very interesting to see how easy it is to keep these bad boys clean. Around the back here, you've got this pull tab here. Nike Athletic Department on the back. Very, very cool touch. That's stitched in as well. Lovely, lovely details there. Moving along, you've kind of got on the outside of the shoe here, you've got the Nike Tick in navy, uh, as well as a kind of similar material. It's more of a mesh material. That is on there and then you have also Nike's signature air bubble as well that you get on the Air Max 97 range. Moving our way to the underside, this shoe here says peace and then if I bring up the other shoe here you've got love on the other shoe as well. So peace and love collection, I really really like the sort of icy gum bottom on these. It's probably one of my favourite pieces about the shoe, this bottom, and this is sort of runs across the entire range that they've done with this shoe. So the tongue guys, really really squidgy tongue, and what's really cool is on the inside, You've got this Nike logo here, golf ball with a love sign in the middle there and the sort of tie-dye print runs all the way through the inside of the tongue. And then you have on the inside there, you've got Nike Golf, really cool sort of logo there. Really do like that. But guys, really, really do like the shoe. This one's a little more subtle than the Roshi G that I'm about to show you. And so, uh, yeah, I kind of like how subtle it is, but... Also for me, this collection is about being loud. And so really, really loud, we've got to have a look at the Roshi G. Okay, so here is the Roshi G. These are quite a lot lighter, guys, than the Air Max 97. And the whole of the upper is made up of the sort of the same material as you had on the Air Max here. Along the front here, it's kind of very, very much similar material on the outside. It doesn't really feel like it's as sort of a knit material. It doesn't feel like it's gonna get really dirty. It's weird, I don't I don't really know kind of what, I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna be okay to clean, as you can see. I've sort of worn these ones already. I just love how loud they are and, and really what this pack does represent. And so I thought I'd go with the louder model. Plus, mega, mega comfy. But, um, but guys, you don't have anything on the back pull tab on these, but you do have the Nike Athletic Department there across uh, the tongue 
on a leather kind of hit on the inside there. Really, really nice touch. As with the Air Max 97 on the inside, you do have the same Night Golf logo and the Volt sort of inner sole in there as well. Really, really nice touch. I do love these details. Also on the inside, not only do you have this on the tongue here, Again, similar to the last pair, you do also have that Night Golf logo in there and then the sort of love heart on there as well. Really, really nice touch. Again, attention to detail. No one's ever going to see that. But the fact that it's in there really does show me that Night Golf have gone to the nth degree in really putting the perfect shoe together. We do have the icy bottoms on these. These ones say peace and love as well. So again, really, really nice bottom. I love the icy look. Very, very cool indeed. The tongue on this one as well is kind of... If I can hold it up there and show you, you've got like these sort of linear stitching on here. Very, very interesting. And then you've got the navy stitching all the way around the outside. So really, really cool, guys. I do love both of these shoes. I kind of, the reason why I picked up both pairs, I wanted to see which ones I liked because these model, I don't own a Roshi G already. I also don't own an Air Max 97 already, but I've tried the Infinity Tours. I just didn't see myself wearing the Air Jordan 5s a great deal. I thought I'd get more wear out of these. And then also, I do want to try the Victory Tours, but uh, it was just these two that really did catch my eye. I think Nike killed it with these designs, guys, if I'm honest. I do think they did a really, really good job. What I would have liked is to have maybe a special box or maybe like a towel come with it or something like that just to make it a little bit a little bit cooler like adidas did with the summer of golf you've got special box you've got dust bag you've got that kind of stuff with it i just would have liked nike to have done something pretty similar with this i think they could have done but instead they just come in a plain old boring orange box which again people have said to me who cares about the box it's just a box you don't wear the box but still i really would have liked nike to have brought them out in a special box but yes design wise guys i do think they absolutely killed it with this collection the tie dye is very very cool indeed again really standing up for what golf fashion is all about at the moment and the direction it's going in. It's very, very different, it's very out there, and for that, I can really, really appreciate this collection. So pricing-wise, guys, these were around the £150 mark. These were £109.95. I think for £109.95, really, really great price point on the Roshi Gs. These ones here, the Air Max 97, I just think they're priced just a fraction too high for me. Don't think they have enough tech in the shoe to really warrant that price tag. But these, at that sort of £110 mark, are really, really nice buy for me. Really, really nice. Not too expensive. So for me, worthwhile pickup. Outfits-wise, guys, with these, the whole collection is pretty difficult to match with. For me, when I did wear these, I wore a nice sort of light blue kind of mid-royal blue shirt, a pair of white shorts, and I was good to go. I just don't think you can throw too many colors on with these two shoes i think you might do with this a little bit more because it's got predominantly a little bit more white in it but overall i think colorway wise you're going to want to go sort of subtle tones with this predominantly white navies you'll get away with these but uh, i wouldn't go too loud with the colors i just think Unfortunately, the nature of the shoes is just going to clash a little bit too much. So as I previously mentioned, guys, this collection did come in the form of five shoes. Really, really cool collection. Some, I believe, are still available on Nike's website, still available on various websites. Golf Poser, Trendy Golf, Function 18. I think you should be able to find what you're looking for over on those websites. You might get a couple of restocks as well, guys. You never know. Some people might have bought the wrong size, going to send them back to Nike. So the Infinity Tour part of this collection only released on night's nice website so if you're really desperate to pick up a pair of those do make sure you sort of stick around for some restocks or i believe they are also on StockX. you could pick up a pair on StockX or ebay you never know when purchasing on ebay just be a little bit careful make sure that you're buying from a reputable seller so guys, my overall opinion on this collection, absolutely smashed it, Night Golf did. Really, really great job. All the attention to detail is absolutely awesome and very, very much on point. And I just love what it stands for, as I've previously mentioned. The way that golf fashion is going at the moment, more collections like this, more out there designs, the more the better, really. I really do like the fact that we're breaking down the boring traditions that we've had in place in the world of golf fashion for the last sort of decade, two decades, 
we're really breaking that down and really starting to express ourselves. And that for me is what gold fashion is all about. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have not done so already, do hit that subscribe button down there for me and do drop a like if you like this collection, if you did enjoy the video. And if you've got a pair of these, if you've got a pair, any pair from the collection, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you like them, I wanna know all about it, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all very, very soon.